yeah, he's just saving face at this point. He wanted to he wanted to pop off on him. There's no doubt. <clears throat> There's no doubt he wanted to hit him. But he's like the older individual. Exactly. He kept himself calm. He knew what he had to do in that situation. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you all doing well today, and welcome back to another reaction for Tensora Season 2. We're here to watch the newest episode, and I'm curious to see what we're going to get in this one. We know that while Purgus is happening in three days, but before that happens, Clayman is going to be attacking Euronzia and trying to sacrifice all the civilians so he can become a true demon lord. And it seems like he wants to do this while, we're, while Purgus is happening, that way the other demon lords don't get in, uh, don't interfere or get involved. So it seems like Clayman's still trying to manipulate the situation, but like I've been saying, I feel like Clayman is actually being manipulated in some capacity by Yuki, and possibly who knows who, who else, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like by the end of this, we're going to see Clayman uh, fall. I think we're going to see Clayman fall from grace. And I wouldn't be su surprised if Kazarim isn't cool with him trying to become a demon lord like Kazarim is. Because he's supposed to be a part of like Kazarim's clown company or whatever, right? Uh, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and count this down. Let's jump into the newest episode of Tensora Season 2. 3, 2, 1, go. We saw this all last episode, but we tend to get recap and slime. Okay. So that's what I figured. That makes sense. If Wild Purgus is happening, then they can't interfere because they're busy with that. That makes sense. Clayman is cunning and, uh, you know, I've said before that I feel like Clayman is more of a puppet master and he's not somebody to get his hands dirty. But that doesn't mean that he can't, right? Uh, I'm curious to see if uh, Clayman is physically strong as well, like, you know, a combatant. Or if he's just a puppet master. Because we know Rimuru can fight. We know a lot of people in Rimuru's, Rimuru's side can actually hold their own and fight. We know Clayman has the five fingers, which are now the four fingers, but can he fight himself? That's what I'm curious about. Hmm. I really wonder who that is, and this person. I think that might be one of the demon lords. Maybe one of the originals, because we know there's three, right? There's Ramaris, Milam, and one other guy. Maybe it's him. I'm looking forward to that. The tear and Lapless and all them. I'm really looking forward to seeing the five fingers, well, the four fingers, and what they're capable of doing. All right, man. We're back. The Eve of Battle. Yeah, not, not too happy. <laughs> Seventy, uh, that doesn't seem, yeah, that's not low. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> but another hang up. Can't they just use the labyrinth?
Ah, okay. I love how like Raphael comes on it comes on through with all the answers. Hmm. Of course. <laughs> So they don't even need the labyrinth. He could just. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> she repl uh, replied. But, but I'm a demon lord now. <laughs> mm, it is typical. Yeah, that is true. Mm hmm. <laughs> he did say Phobia once, that's true. All right, so it's time for, this is the eve of battle, name of the episode. This man's still reading manga, dude. <laughs> that is true, but he keeps himself well hidden. Uh, you, you don't need to get rid of the other demon lords, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if he was going to go to the party, even though he's technically not recognized by them, if he's just going to show up, dude. Uh, <clears throat> I think so. I think it'd throw all of them for a loop if he showed up. <laughs> what, people start fighting each other? <laughs> I thought you were a fool. This man's a primordial, and none of them know that. I don't. I don't think Rimmer even knows what a primordial is, dude. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Dude, bring Hakuro with you. That's exactly. I doubt it too. That's what I'm saying, dude. He's an original demon lord. Yeah, I don't... Kalimian can control people, but I highly doubt he's strong enough to control Milam, bro.
They just keep kissing Ramirez's ass, dude. <laughs> Take Hakuro with you. <laughs> that is true. I would have. My man, this is the first time you spoke, literally. <laughs> Look at all the manga. Oh, that's right. He's supposed to stay there and protect the city. Hmm. Look. calling him master probably because they read the books together or whatever right or also because yeah why would she call him master aren't they both related to the forest maybe they're not but i think it's because they both are reading the manga and they're adopting something from the manga hmm No. Yari Yari. But this time I'll let it pass. Oh my goodness. Is that the Veldor is that the Vel the Veldor skill we saw? My man, he can summon Veldora, dude. Hmm. Yes, that's Oh, that's right. Because they keep kissing Ramirez's ass, so. Would have been better, I think, if Hakura would have went, at least with one of them. Because Hakura is a very calm individual. Uh, Xian's not too calm, dude. <laughs> right, so we're getting, we're bringing up Leon again. Okay. Once a hero. Le Yep. Leon was painted as a bad a bad person, but I don't think he is, dude. I think there's more to his relationship with Izu and everybody else. But I'm glad that we're bringing him up again cuz he was mentioned throughout the series a few times. Of course. 
So these are Lady Millum's people. These are Millum's people. We saw them briefly in Slime Diaries. But not, not these two, I don't think, were they? Dude. <laughs> Bro, my dude's head's gonna, gonna pop some blood vessels. Up, oh, this is the Yamza guy, right? Hmm. Father Midray. Yeah, cleaning up her mess, which your boss sent him there, sent her to do, so. Oh, dude, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, this dude's dangerous, man. <laughs> he is dangerous. My dude's missing his arm already. Yeah, he's just saving face at this point. He wanted to he wanted to pop off on him, there's no doubt. <clears throat> there's no doubt he wanted to hit him. But he's like the older individual. Exactly. He kept himself calm. He knew what he had to do in that situation. Nice. He has, he has healing magic. All right. Good, good, good. That's why it doesn't matter that his arm got cut off. <laughs> the red melon. Of course he won't. I wonder if there's... I mean, he seems strong. He, he kicked that kid like he was nothing. So I'm sure they have some kind of combat ability. Are we going to get to see Millen finally, dude? No. Transport them here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. MVP of Slime Diaries, right there.
Nice. Right. Because they all know Phobio. Yo. Clayman's not going to be happy when, he, when his people get there, dude. A lot of magic rules. <laughs> dude, next episode? Is it going to be next episode, dude? Because this is called the Eve of Battle. 10,000. Okay. Nice. His personal guard called Korinai, bro. Hmm. What about what about the dragon newts, the flying? Here are you. Yep, they finally gave him a name. It should have been mentioned earlier. I'm pretty sure. Dude, are we gonna? Are we going to see, like, Benny Mara versus Yamza? <laughs> yep. No casualties. Before it starts to stink. Well, he might die by the end of this, dude. So he won't be defying nobody if he dies. <laughs> dude, that's so cool, bro. Dude, it's going to be next episode, man. Next episode. Yeah, let's hope he doesn't lose anybody. But this dude, Hamza, doesn't look like he's a, uh, a pushover. So what's the name of the next episode? The Demon Lords. So, I'm assuming we're going to be seeing Walpurgis next episode. Which means we're going to get to see all of the Demon Lords in one place. That being the three original. That being the Valentine guy. Uh, Rimuru, who they don't, they don't recognize as a Demon Lord yet. Uh, Clayman. Kazarim might show up as well. Because she was, uh, they were a a former demon lord, but I'm sure they want their title back. And the person that probably took that title from her is probably going to be there as well. This next episode is going to be very exciting. Um, I do hope we get to see some of the battle as well while, while, while Pergus is happening. I'm hoping that they don't just do one episode for that and one episode for the other. I hope they show it like simultaneously because they're supposed to be happening simultaneously, right? Or at least, uh, around the same time because he's using the demon lord meeting as a way so the other demon lords don't interfere with his attack on Yoranzia but now all the citizens are gone so he's not going to get his sacrifices nothing's going to go to 
Clayman's plan. He's going to fail. Even if Rimuru didn't get involved, I feel like he's still being manipulated by Yuki and a few other people. Spe you know, definitely Yuki. Uh, so I feel like Clayman's still going to, still would have failed or at least wouldn't succeed as much as he would even if Rimuru wasn't there, you know what I mean? Because Yuki's still involved. I feel like Yuki is still manipulating things. Um, but it looks like we're going to be getting, like I said, the Demon Lord meeting next episode. I'm hoping to see if I'm right about the redheaded guy being one of the original Demon Lords. Leon Cromwell's probably going to be there, which obviously Rimuru and him have a connection with Shizu. Uh, so I'm curious to see more about Leon and get more of his personality because he's sort of been built up as like a bad dude. But I don't think he is. I think maybe he's just misunderstood. He was a self-proclaimed hero at one point. So, you know, and plus we've seen demon lords aren't all bad. Um, Rimuru is not a bad guy. So I'm curious to see more of this Leon dude, uh, more Kazarim. Just I want to see the demon lords. I'm very excited for this meeting. It's going to be very interesting. But guys, what are your thoughts on this episode of Tensora Season 2? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button. It's completely free, and I greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you very soon for another video.